Hi, welcome aboard. We are here in Craig and we're heading back to St. Augustine. Sun's setting, so we're gonna have a whole lot of sun in our eyes, but uh, should be a nice, fun trip. 3175 Whiskey, you're clear to Papa Golf Delta Airport S file. Climb maintain 3000. Expect 900,000, one zero minutes after departure. Jack's approach frequency is 124.9, squawk 1545. Craig Brown, Baron 3175 Whiskey at Craig Center, ready to taxi to 23. 3175 Whiskey, Craig Brown, runway 23, taxi off top. 23 via Alpha Charlie, 75 Whiskey. All right, guys, let's see if we can get home in time to still have some daylight so you guys can uh, see the landing. Sun's going to start setting pretty quick, but we'll see how that goes. November 3175, Whiskey, runway 32, Clifford takeoff, turn left heading 280. 3-2, clear for takeoff, left 280 for San Jose. Entered runway 32, 3500 feet remaining. That's yeah, four flight. 3 and 3-2. You're clear right. Entered runway 23, 3500 feet remaining. Pages in the green. Fuel flow, airspeed alive, 84 knots, positive rate, gear up, Left to uh, 280. Over Jacksonville, set by Whiskey. He's really got to slow down. Parcher Baron 3175, Whiskey 1.2, climbing 3000 on a 280 heading. Baron 3175, Whiskey, Jacksonville departure, I dent, maintain 900,000. I dent, 900,000, set by Whiskey. A nice climb. Bear 75 Whiskey, radar contact, four miles west northwest of the Craig Airport. When able, turn the left direct of Calibor Tech, going Victor 1 at 5 7. That's wild. Hi, right, left direct of Calibor for some Whiskey. Well, it looks like this heading is going to put us right in between two cells. Which should work out just perfect. So you can see the little cell right there. And we we'll go off to our left, you can see that to our left. Or you can see that to our right. So you can see, that's the tip of this right here. Baron Pilot 75, Whiskey, contact approach 118.6. Take care, man. 118.6, thanks for your help, Senpai Whiskey. Ha ha ha. That's awesome. Baron pilot. Textile approach, Baron 3175, Whiskey 8.8, .8, climbing 9000, direct Ocala. Baron 3175, Whiskey Guest Approach, good evening. Ocala altimeter, 3009 or? 009er, some of those. So this looks like the last little bit of weather for this trip, and then after that, where there should be no factor. So I want to give out a shout out to the Jacksonville controllers. Just heard Jacksonville uh, departure. Uh, gave me a little shout out as Baron Pilot. Also last night when I flew into uh, to Craig, I didn't record the flight, but the controller at the tower at Craig the Tower uh, is a fan of the channel and uh, gave me a little shout out. We had a brief conversation. And the reason we got in the conversation is because he was working by himself and doing a fantastic job of multitasking. And I felt that he deserved a, a shout out and a, uh, you know, an attaboy for the great job he does. And now it's the second time on uh, Jack's departure, I've had them uh, refer to me as Baron Pilot. And the recognition is uh, very humbling. And I'm honored that uh, you guys even watch 
you watch my channel, you know this isn't me pandering to you because you made reference to uh, my channel. I have always said the controllers in Florida are the best. You guys do a fantastic job of keeping us safe. So I just wrapped up some recurrent training uh, with a buddy of mine uh, down in Orlando. So because of that, I am completely hand flying. I actually hand blew last night. I'm hand flying right now. Uh, I worked way too hard for these last couple days to then just come here and turn on the autopilot. So with all the flying I've been doing since uh, getting a Baron back, I guess I've had the Baron back. Uh, yeah, I probably had the Baron back about a month. And uh, I am due for my first 25 hour oil change. So normally oil changes in airplanes are done uh, 50 hours. I mean, I know people who do it so every 25 hours, but the first oil change for a new engine is done at 25 hours. So I'm at that mark now. I, after this flight, when I get back uh, home, I will go ahead and uh, do my first oil change. So normally I'm not looking forward to oil changes because it just means money, maintenance, expenses. But this one is a is a badge of honor. So I'm really looking forward to uh, to getting this oil change done. So we're currently level 9,000 feet. We have a indicated airspeed of 162 knots, I'd say. We have an outside temperature of 55 degrees Fahrenheit or 12 degrees Celsius. And we have a ground speed of 189 knots. So based on the calculations here, that is giving us a true airspeed of 189 knots. So we'll call it 190 knot true airspeed. And I'm currently burning just over 27 gallons an hour. So I'd say not too shabby for uh, for a little Baron getting 190 knot true airspeed. Not quite Premier One driver speeds, but I'd say a little faster than uh, Aviation 101 speed. So I'm kind of in between the two. Which is kind of where the channel fits. So I guess it makes sense, right? So I'm gonna have to reach out to Nico and find out what kind of true airspeed he gets at 9,000 feet. And what his fuel burn is to get that. That sunset is beautiful. So I just text uh, we're Nico on my air check system to find out what his true airspeed is. And Nico gets 172 true airspeed, but he's only burning 16.4. So a good test for me in the future is going to be to see if I pull my airspeed back to 172, what my fuel burn becomes and how much more I'm burning than him when I do that. So if I would be sure, cross uh, 15 miles north of Puna Gorda, that maintains 3,000. And if I didn't already tell you, 4 miles of 3,008. 15 north of Puna Gorda at 3,000 for San Carlos. All right, we're going to pull the power back. So that was a crossing restriction I was expecting. So I've got it in there, 640 is my descent rate I'm looking for. And that'll give me 3,015 uh, north of Puna Gorda. So we're expecting the visual for 2-2, two -two, so I'm going to go ahead and load the procedure. I'll go ahead and choose Rogan as my uh, initial approach fix. So as we descend, my manifold pressure will increase. And as it increases, I'll just keep bringing it back to the same 18 inches, which will then keep our descent rate the same. I got somebody 2,000 feet below me. I see them showing up on here. And I also see them showing up on the IFD 100. Now the question is, can I see them outside the window? So I'm going to level up here for a second until I see this traffic is past us. He does appear to be turning. 2649, got a climb center one. There he is. I got him. 308, yes sir. 475 Whiskey, uh, maintain 5,000 traffic approximately 1 o'clock and 2 miles northwest on VFR Tampa known. Altitude indicates 4,700. It's unconfirmed, uh, but on your current course, you'll pass within a mile uh, behind him. Let me know if you do get him in sight. Uh, 5,000 actually have the traffic in sight, he's no factor. Step by Whiskey, excellent. Then continue with the restriction across 15 miles north of Puna Gorda at 3,000. Thank you. 15 north of Puna Gorda at 3,000. I was waiting for that call. That guy clearly has ADSB. He saw me. You can actually see how he turned to go around. 
And even though I was given a crossing restriction due to safety purposes, I actually slowed my descent and leveled off for a second to, uh, to make sure you're safe. Because remember, at the end of the day, it's your life and it's your responsibility to maintain a safe flight. And even though I'm on an IFR flight plan, it's still, I still have some responsibility to see and avoid. Yes. Stand by Whiskey Field site. November 75, Whiskey cleared visual approach from 22, contact point over to tower 121.0, have great day. Cleared the visual of the tower, good day, Whiskey. Good evening, point over to tower, Baron 3175, Whiskey on the visual for 22. 3175, Whiskey, Punagore Tower, runway 22, clear to land. 22, clear to land, suppose. Well, guys, as always, if you like my videos, hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button. Biggest thank you I can get is your subscription to my channel. If you don't already, be sure to um, follow me on social media on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all on Beach Baron Pilot. And for those of you who are looking for ways to help support the channel, you can always go to baronpilotshop.com and uh, pick up some Baron Pilot swag. Or you can go on to Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash baronpilot as well. And for those of you who, who want to support the channel but can't necessarily do it financially, then just spread the word. Let others know what we're doing here and that you like it and uh, help me get other more followers. That's just as valuable to me, so they all have their benefits. All right, we got the power back. Got it back to 17 inches. There's the runway right there. My glide slope is alive. I went ahead and loaded in the approach. All right, we are intercepting the glide slope. The gear is going down. We've got three green. Yeah. 500. 500 feet, three green, little land. You have not touched the power. Go and pull flaps. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this flight. We uh, got in right at dark, so hopefully it wasn't too dark for you. Been working real hard trying to uh, keep these videos going on a um, w weekly basis. It's not always possible, but I'm doing doing my best to uh, do so and maintain this pace. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Well, guys, as always, until next time, stay safe.